Ahmad Super Judge, and I'm so blessed every time I have this opportunity to bring God's word to you. Praise God. And hey, today is Friday. Guess what? Christmas is two days away. Hey, praise God. Are you excited about it? Now, I told you yesterday, we should celebrate Christmas because we are celebrating the birth of the Prince of Peace. It means it's time to enjoy and enforce his peace. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Can we call for that delivery? I've got so much in my heart to share with you. Join me right now. Say, Father, I demand and I receive my delivery. It's coming to me right now in Jesus' name. Amen. You really need that miracle. So receive it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Receive things for Christmas. Yeah, receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. Now sharing with you yesterday why we should really consider spiritual things. The reason is this, so that we can enjoy peace. When you see people doing going wrong, taking the wrong decision, it's important you warn them. See? You warn them. Now, this is not an advice. I know it's not going to happen, but you see, let's learn. Let's learn. Having, because one of the political parties in Nigeria, and I'm saying this because of God's children, because they don't know and, and they walk in ignorance. They know not. Some entities say they know not. They don't understand. So they walk on in darkness. I think I'm going to do a live broadcast very soon. Just going to do a live broadcast. So we will talk about this and analyze this thing properly. So, so it's not going to be in the recording because we're, we have time constraint. I'll do record a, 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 a live broadcast for about one hour. Let's analyze these things. You can ask your questions. I'll surely answer them. Let's analyze these things and, and bring awareness to God's children. But there is a strong need to pray. There is a strong need to pray. I've said this before and I'll say it to you again. It was much easier to get the children of Israel out of Egypt. The main challenge God had with them was getting them into the promised land. So they spent 40 years in the wilderness for a 40 days journey. And even then, those who left Egypt could not enter the promised land, except two, because of unbelief. Unbelief, yes, and because they wouldn't pray. So they didn't conceive in their heart the vision that God was trying to paint concerning the promised land. They didn't see it. Now, we all are hoping for better government. But have you seen it? The only place you can see it is in place of prayer. When you pray, God is going to reveal these things to you. And with the knowledge of God, now some of us have been blessed by the knowledge of God. So when we, when we are taking decisions, we analyze things the world way. See, now, if God has taught you things, the whole essence of God teaching you anything is for you to make quality decisions. If you have not been taught anything at all, then you see your decisions will be haphazard. But if the Lord has taught you things, about the operations of angels, about the operations of his spirit, about the work of truth, then you should be smart enough to take quality decisions. Except you're the one the Bible refers to as simple. You want to live a quiet and a peaceable life? The decisions you take matter a lot. So as God's children, it's important we pray and we stand against every wrong action that we see the society is about to take. We stand against it in the place of prayer. We pray until God begins to tell us what to do. And then we carry out those actions. I remember years ago the story of Archbishop Benson in Dahosa. You know, you remember when the witches wanted to hold a conference in Nigeria. 
he stood up against it and said, it will not work. Now, many of you have heard that story. But I wonder how many of you have sat down to analyze the story properly. So we learn. See, this story is not just for say, oh, God's power is great. No, we must learn. How did this person put that power to work? See, very important. So we, they wanted to hold that meeting in Benin City. And then he stood against it. He said, the meeting is not going to hold. And they got into this argument to the point that they had a live TV interview. And he told the man the meeting will not hold. And the man said the meeting will. The man actually said even God cannot stop that meeting. And they asked the archbishop, this is what the man said. What do you say? He said the man is right. Because I have told God not to get involved in this matter. I am here. If you handle the things in heaven, I will handle this one. Now he was that bold. And after they threatened that the meeting is going to, he said, the meeting is not going to hold. And I heard him tell the story himself. And he said, he took up his phone and he called the president of the nation. He said, I have said that that meeting must not hold. And the president said, the moment I saw that challenge, I put a call to, I put a, an instruction to all our embassies not to issue visa to anyone coming for that conference. And that meeting was aborted. Now, did the Archbishop pray? Yes, he prayed. Did he stand in faith? Yes, he stood in faith. But you see, if he didn't have access to the president to make that call, he would have maybe prayed some more. See that now? Now, you begin to understand why it's important we have the right people in the place of authority. So we can see something going wrong and immediately we can make a call and say, no, 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 this shouldn't be. See that? Now, why did the Bible call us the light? And I put a challenge to every believer. Of all the work we have been doing in this nation over the years, in 2023, we will now accept in our place of authority a Muslim, Muslim. Now, I'm not against Muslims, but you see, I'm in for the spiritual implication. You may not understand this thing. I'm not referring to the human beings that are standing election. I'm, I'm looking at what God wants to do and what the devil is planning to do. That's what I'm looking at. Many people don't understand, even this present regime, how God saved our nation by pairing a pastor with President Buhari. You think it's politics. That's all you see. But you don't realize that the presence of the vice president alone, you don't realize what God was doing. Now, I'm not saying something spooky and I'm telling you real facts. There are angels that walk with these people. And you see, the same way angels are interested in the truth, the same way the devil is interested in the truth. Now, here, this is how it works. If the man on that throne gives himself over to the Lord, you are going to see great angelic activities and angelic help in our nation. But if the person on that throne doesn't know God and doesn't give himself over to the Lord, you know Satan, he doesn't knock. He pushes, he bulldozes his way in. He's going to influence that man to do any kind of havoc. Now, it doesn't mean the man himself has to be wicked. No, 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 no. <laughs> what it simply means is, Satan is going to take advantage of that person's naivety or ignorance and do much havoc in the nation, even if the person is a good man. 
If he's a good man but doesn't know how to give himself over to the Lord, Satan will deal with him. You see, we are not even that enlightened as a nation. You know what I mean by enlightened as in we've not reached, we've not even reached um, a quarter of what God has planned for us. Now, we, 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 I told you yesterday, look at Europe, look at America. Now, someone said, what about the Arab world and, and see how they are doing so well? They don't even know God. Now, now, don't be naive. Don't be foolish. God hardly bronda gada broki hadaba. Now, Israel, for example, you have very truly, you have very few Christians in Israel. You know what I mean by that? Born again believers, very few. But they are so blessed. Why? You see, God blessed Abraham, and he is Hayamunge Brakatiya. He is committed to see that that blessing is kept. Do you know God blessed Ishmael also? Go read your Bible. God blessed him. Now, because God blessed Ishmael, an angel is released. Now, they as a people don't have identity crisis. They understand who they are and they follow the tradition that they have been given. As long as they do that, the earth recognizes them as a people because there is no conflict where that is, there, that is concerned. So the earth is yielding. They are just walking. They are walking like a nation on rails. Is it God that is blessing? Of course, yes. But we that are praying, see, you don't even know what your prayer is supposed to help you do. They are blessed. God clearly spoke a blessing over their lives. Israel is blessed. Now, Europe and the United States, their early days, the first work that took place in those areas were spiritual works. Men held on to the Lord. Men influenced government. Go read the history. And that's when civilization began to come. And that's when... Um, blessings, industrialization, wealth began to come. And they became great as nations. And then they began to mess things up. Because now they begin to forget God. Now you know them at the stage where they are almost forgetting God. But what you don't see is that they are going down. What took them up? prayers what's going to take us up prayers we've not even climbed and you already say we pray too much we have not even started praying we've not started praying yet we need to pray until our eyes are open to see and then we align ourselves with God's purpose and then we'll begin to see God's word being brought to pass in every aspect of our nation. And guess what? We are the light. We are the light. If we are the light, you know it's amazing. May God help you as a believer. May God help you. May God help you. We are the light. And you are not even concerned that in the seat of authority, there should be light in that place. Oh, you want to spend the rest of your life praying and struggling in prayers. Not because you couldn't have acted different, you acted properly when the time came. But by your ignorance and your inaction. May God help the church. But you know what? I've made up my mind. This is my generation. My nation will see lights. Oh, we will see lights. We will see lights. We will see light. Praise God. And you know the truth? I've told you this before. In a moment, things are going to change. That's why I'm so much at peace. Because I've heard from the Lord. Not only have I heard from I'm still praying and praying. And, and, and I've got some friends join me. We're praying. And you can join us also to pray. Because we need everyone on board. Let, let the Spirit of God begin to awaken 
our hearts to truth. Like I said, I'm going to do a live broadcast. I'm going to announce when I'm going to do that very soon, in a matter of days. So let's deal with this issue. And the Lord will bless us as a nation. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, Father, I bless everyone under the sound of my voice right now. It's Christmas, Lord. And I pray in this season, let your loving kindness extend towards everyone. I speak peace to everyone's heart. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I speak peace to that liver condition right now. Someone, you, you have a condition with your liver. I declare in the name of the Lord Jesus, be healed now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let the, let the peace of God flood your hearts and keep you safe. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you on Monday. Bye-bye. Merry Christmas.